Quantum mechanics makes predictions of statistical character. For instance, it cannot predict the exact position of a particle, but it can provide a probability distribution of potential positions. A notable feature of this distribution is the mean position. Let's consider the following scenario. Suppose we have an ensemble of n identical, one particle systems, each described by the same wave function psi. In the discussion to follow, we'll assume n to be very large, tending to infinity. At a given time t, we measure the positions of each of these n particles. According to the Born rule, these measurements outcomes will follow a probability density given by the square of the modulus of the wave function. Now, what is the average result? What is the mean position of a particle in our ensemble? To address this, let's consider a practical approach. We'll discretize our x-axis by introducing a regular mesh of points with coordinates x sub minus 1, x sub 0, x sub 1, etc., with a distance delta x between any two neighboring points. When measuring a particle's position, we'll round the outcome to the closest mesh point and record it as a count attributed to that point. This process mirrors experimental conditions when the position detector has finite precision delta x. The result of n position measurements will form a histogram. For example, the position value x sub 0 will occur n sub 0 times, x sub 1 will occur n sub 1 times, x sub minus 1, n sub minus 1 times, and so on. The mean outcome, denoted by x within angular brackets, is the arithmetic average of all individual outcomes. It's obtained by summing all outcomes multiplied by the corresponding counts and dividing by the total number of measurements. Alternatively, this can be expressed as the sum of all possible outcomes, x sub j, multiplied by their frequencies, n sub j over n, where n is the sum of all n sub j's. Now, as delta x approaches zero and the position detector becomes more precise, and assuming an infinitely large ensemble n, the frequency n sub j over n tends to the probability of finding the particle in the delta x interval around x sub j. This probability, according to the Born rule, is the square of the modulus of psi multiplied by delta x. Consequently, the expression for the mean position is replaced by this sum, which is essentially the Riemann sum representing the integral of x multiplied by the square of the modulus of psi. This gives us our final formula for the mean position of the particle. If the particle's wave function is known, this formula enables the calculation of the position where the particle is expected to be found, on average. This quantity is also known as the position expectation value. I encourage you to work through the exercises accompanying this lecture. Full solutions are provided. These exercises will deepen your grasp of the position expectation value and prepare you for upcoming calculations in this course.